Hello everybody, this is Also House Gaming, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Ori and the Blind Forest Definitive Edition. In the previous episode, we made our way through... ...through Sorrow Pass, collecting the last of the keys, and then decided to backtrack our way through collecting anything and everything we could along the way, getting several abilities from it, thanks to the new ability cells we can collect. Unfortunately, some of them are still locked away, and I have the distinct feeling that we're going to unlock the ability to get to them in Blackroot Burrows. I don't know why, but my memory is telling me that. Oh, which, by the way, we are actually in the childhood home of Naru. You know, our adoptive mother... From the beginning of the game? Don't tell me you don't remember. Anyways, we kind of basically have to do another escort mission like we did in the Forlorn Ruins. Though this time, the enemies in it, you know, aren't as powerful as they were there. And hopefully there's a lot less basically instant death spikes. Okay, need to set this down here. We can't make that jump with the orb. At least I don't think we can. Eh, no, we could have. Alright, then we want to head to the right. We're going to be using the map a lot here. Because we need to know where we're going. I see that ability cell up there. Okay, that, that was threading the needle, clutch, whatever you want to call it, of dodging that one blast of energy that whole time. Oh, jeez, and it was a one at a time. Uh, boy. I mean, I get the feeling we probably could have come back here some time ago. Possibly. But I'm not 100% certain. Okay, I can see the faint platforms. That will lead us down to the ability cell. And I got greedy. Ah, jeez. Why, why is it they gotta make these spike death pits so slow? Okay. Okay, there's what appears to be a ball of light up above that I couldn't get to earlier because I couldn't see. Okay, wow. Talk about playing trajectory or leading your shots. 
Yeah, whatever phrase you want to use. So yeah, this is pretty much another escort mission. Like the one in the Forlorn Ruins, just, you know, depending on when you go into this, it'll be either more difficult or less difficult. Okay, let's put this down here, make a save, and then backtrack over... What the? It's almost like I just lost all momentum mid-air from that jump. There we go. Okay. Huh. Oh, I thought we were dropping it in there. Nope, guess not. Then it would just light up the whole area. I had to make a jump, I couldn't. Hmm. Okay, place that there. Yeah, try not to let my momentum get me killed here. Ah, maybe now we gotta place it down there. go. This place is looking a lot better. Ori, look! Even though our light had grown weak in this haze, it lifted the darkness that held claim of this place. Perfection. And there's also another tree. Ari was looking for Naru, but she was gone when he came. He was swift like the wind and sprinted with haste, but surrounded by darkness, he lost his way. What have we got? You've learned Dash. Yeah, there was an ability that we could pick up that didn't require having it, thank goodness, that allowed us to use it in air. Press RB in order to dash in the direction you're facing. Nice. This is gonna make things somewhat easier for us. Looks like there's also something up here. Eh, just some spirit light. Now, there is more to this place. Okay, yep. Let's try to not get killed. Let's head down this way first.
Right, and that stomp down there, I believe, was just to help us get back quickly, I think. I could be wrong. Mm, I don't want to find out if I'm wrong. Well, honestly, it shouldn't matter. The Lost Grove also added in the Definitive Edition. Probably should have just grabbed onto the wall. Do I go past the wall, or do I go elsewhere? Oof, tough to say, tough to say. Eh, yeah, let's head past the wall. See where this leads us. Wow, that thing didn't even have to touch us and it killed us. Grab this, save the game. Yeah, da, 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 da. yeah, this was it. Nope, not that. Allows Zori to charge dash to attack enemies. No, air dash allows Zori to use dash in the air. So it kind of spoiled what we would get a dash ability. But then again, if you look over here, you can kind of get an idea. Alrighty then. Oh hey, there's that door we found earlier. So we kind of found the back door into this place. Smash this, get the ball of light. Ooh, and a life cell. Teleportation point. Hmm? What's up, scene? We should return here later. There's much left unknown. Down below, we may find the place they once called their home. Yeah, kind of figured as much. Which is why we're going to do that now. So it's probably a good thing we didn't come here earlier. Okay, that was cutting it a little close for comfort. Damn. I sent him flying. Huh. There's an ability point somewhere up there. Get the feeling it's probably... Somewhere up above where the laser was firing. Or maybe not. Whoops. Alright, that's another ability cell and another ability for us. I'm gonna go for the rapid flame and then I'm gonna focus on the exploration abilities. Oh yeah, that's d greatly reduced it. 
Now let's descend slowly. Let's see what we got down here. Get those little landmines they leave. But we got the ball of light, so that's something. Huh. Looks like there was three of them at one point. I'm guessing Naru, her father, and her mother. That's a dead end, so we gotta go back this way. I'm willing to bet... ...just enough time... ...to get past the laser. They weren't kidding about being a rapid flame. Alright, spirit efficiency, then we get the life markers, then the energy markers, and then after that, I don't know. I gotta find something to weigh this down. Because I am quick, but I'm not that quick. Huh. Okay, I can't go that way. Didn't see anything I could grab onto. Maybe I needed to leave that frog alive. Yeah, I'm not seeing anything around here to grab onto. Oh, I think I know what it is. I gotta lure these things on. Come on. <sighs> Seriously. And yes, I did that on purpose.
Seriously, though, why are they not? What am I missing? Deadly dodge? Trick five enemies into killing another enemy. Huh. I wouldn't call that dodging, but hey. What am I missing here? I obviously don't have the weight to hold this down myself and, well, have the weight to hold it down myself. Maybe I just need to be quick. Because I can't get anything to stay on there. I'll be right back. Okay, so. Completely forgot that there was this whole area over here, which is probably actually where we need to go. Because I get the feeling we're missing an ability that we're gonna need to get through that other area. Ow. Honestly, it's almost not even worth continuing on with only two health. Let's see, I see that up there. I also see a lot of death lasers. Somehow that ended up canceling out his attack because it caused me to level up. Alright, let's save that. And that's how we get to the ability point, by getting over to there. Oh hey, one of these guys. Haven't seen them in a long time. Oh, but wait a minute. Yeah, nope. Need to get the ability first. Light and dark in innocence born. And though she was lightless... A friendship still formed. But 
but the bond that was made. soon be dissolved. Huh. Shame, really? Alright, what have we got down here? Soul could cast our light, even in the dark she would see. She lived deep in this grove. Now she rests here in peace. This is the last of our abilities. You've gained a light burst. To use this ability, press and hold press or hold RB in order to cast a light burst. Huh. Funny that we could get that before we can get the dash when we kinda actually needed the dash. Well, no, actually I don't think we needed the dash to get down here. Oh well. And got a big ol' energy crystal, cause this does cost energy to use. But yeah, pretty sure that's what we needed. Ah, wasn't enough. What we needed in order to, uh... Get through that one area I was trying to get through earlier. But yeah, Light Burst and Dash are two entirely optional abilities. Guys, like I said, these areas were added in the Definitive Edition, so you didn't need them to finish the uh, actual game. Right, right. I actually want to go back to get that ability point. Because I believe with that we can get yet another ability. blown them up this whole time. And it seems as though it only costs a half an energy point to use this, which is good, but at the same time, you know, if I'm constantly missing, I'm gonna burn through that quickly. Alright, not going for that. I want to get these. Makes life cells show up on the map. And it appears as though there aren't any life cells down here. Let's see. Matter of fact, how many are left? Just three. And it looks like... Yeah, they're all in the Hollow Grove area. Alright. Let's see. How many energy cells? Uh, six. <laughs> Ooh. It really don't give you a whole lot of time to get past that one. Let's make our way back down to where we were. Get rid of all these. 
And now let's do this properly. Oh, actually... Actually, we have run out of time for this episode, so this is gonna have to wait until next time. Wasn't even paying attention. I actually started having fun again. Alright, well, with that, if you guys like what you see, please leave a like, subscribe for future content, don't forget to hit that bell icon to get notifications when I upload, and please, leave a comment down below this video. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Thanks for watching.